Hey, what's up everybody? AWOL here, creators, hustlers, internet entrepreneurs, how you doing? I'm gonna teach you how to write a killer YouTube description. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step with you and I'll give you a free resource that I put together my previous video on how to get the best keywords possible to rank for your branded keywords like your name or your business name and your non-branded keywords, those big topics, those big things that are gonna give you big traffic through YouTube search and Google search. Cool, let's start the step by step. Let's not waste a single moment of your time. So the previous video where I taught you how to rank your channel, I went through and I told you how to find the keywords that you should be including in your video description. But in this video, I wanna talk more than just the keywords. I wanna talk about the strategy on how you build your video description. You can look at my video description on this video to get an idea of what an optimal description looks like. But what you want to do is have the top section of your video description be a powerful multi-sentence long description that emphasizes your keyword, your primary keyword in the first section of your video description. In this video, it's YouTube SEO. And as you can see, I have YouTube SEO reinforced in the title. And I also have in my tags, YouTube SEO as my first tag. So you wanna make sure that whatever your primary keyword is for your video, you make that your very first word in your description if you're trying to actually rank for a keyword, which you should be doing. The remainder of the top of this description should include secondary and related keywords to that primary one. So for example, YouTube SEO was mine in this video. I included rank YouTube, how to rank YouTube channels, things like keyword research, uh, tags, descriptions, playlist, you get it. Uh, what you're gonna do is include supporting keywords to that primary keyword in that first paragraph of your description. The next section of your description should be one link. So this shouldn't be a list of multiple socials. It shouldn't be a freaking giant piece of links to Twitter, Facebook, et cetera. It should be one link to the most important thing that you talked about in that video. The one thing you want them to click on, put that one thing right there. And then what you're gonna do is make it really easy to find and look at by going all caps with the name of it and just post the shortest version of the link you can right here and preferably put an emoji at the front to really make that link stand out. And if you want a great resource to get emojis, it's free, emojipedia.org. Emojipedia.org is my favorite. You just search for a category of emoji here and then you can copy it from the website over to your YouTube channel. It's a fantastic resource that has literally every single emoji that has ever existed. Then below that, you're going to have a keyword rich description of your channel and all of the things that you normally talk about on your channel right here. My previous video, this actual video, talks about what you should include there specifically, but the point of me telling you that is don't include more links right here. You wanna have a description of the video, then a link, then a description of your channel, then you can include more links to things like your social media. You don't wanna kind of bombard the viewer with a giant wall of links all over the freaking place when they come to your video description. It's very off-putting and it takes the focus away from that primary thing that you're trying to get them to click on. As you can see with the formatting of my links for my social media, I've used these uh, kind of emojis here to represent each of the social media platforms that I'm on. And I've included short links to all of my socials. So how do you create these short links to your socials? How does that actually work? Check it out. There's a free resource out there called Bitly. So I'm gonna make a short link right now to my previous video by copying it here. I'm gonna go to Bitly, it's, B -I it's B -I -T dot L Y. And once you log in, you'll be here in this dashboard. And what you can do is click the create button up here and you paste any link that you wanna shorten in Bitly and it'll bring up that menu that you see right over here for you. You can then type in any custom information that you want at the end of that bit.ly link. Like in this case, it will be uh, keyword ranking. All right, bit, bit.ly slash keyword ranking. And I'm gonna hit save. This link is going to be in the description of this video. And as you can see, I can copy that link here from bit.ly and then I can paste it into any video description I want 
in the future. You'll see it in the video description of this video I'm uploading right now so that you can watch the previous video. So the only thing I'm going to be telling you to do in this video is to watch this previous video to understand how to get great keywords for your description. You get it? And by creating a bit.ly link that describes what they're about to click, it's better than just dropping some random YouTube link there that they don't really know exactly what they're getting or it may seem questionable. This bit.ly link lets you know exactly what you're gonna get, right? You're going to get keyword ranking when you use it. Got it? Cool, it helps create trust with the links that you're putting in your description by putting a little descriptor next to them. The last thing that you wanna include at the bottom of your description as a standard is the background or story on yourself. This allows you to include more keywords, sure, about yourself, but just go ahead and describe where you came from, why you're an authority on the subject that you're talking about, and any professional clients or sponsors or businesses that wanna work with you will see this and understand that, hey, this person's pretty legit, or they may connect with your story. The last couple optional things you can put at the bottom of your description uh, include if you have other programming on the internet you wanna link to. For example, I have a podcast called The Digital Drop Podcast. I want that podcast to be included in my descriptions because it's very related to my content I'm uploading on YouTube. So I've included that podcast here if people want to watch more of it. And lastly, if you have any disclosures where you have any licensed music, you have any licensed videos, images, and you need to include any sort of disclosures uh, for your video in your description, obviously put them in your video description somewhere. If you don't have to put them at the top, then put them at the bottom, of course. So let's quickly review on the flow of a killer video description. Awesome, keyword rich top with a couple sentences long, two to three sentences long of all those juicy keywords that lets the viewer know exactly what they're gonna get when they click your video. Then you give them the one link you want them to click, then you give them a description of your channel, then your socials and other avenues, then you tell your story below that, as you can see here, then the two optional items, additional things you want them to check out, and any disclosures. That's the format. Feel free to copy the description I have below on this video and use it as a template for yours moving forward. Both Bitly and Emojipedia are completely free to use if you wanna use them to make your descriptions more easy to understand and more clickable for your audience. Don't confuse your audience with a million friggin' links down there. Take the time to rank your video, make it easy for your audience to navigate your description, and you will succeed step-by-step, step, one little optimization thing at a time. If you got value from this video at all, watch the previous one that's in my description below about ranking keywords and how to get those juicy keywords. Link in the description below. Adios.